What is up guys, Major Magpie here and welcome back to Prison Architect. This is Magpie Penitentiary. Uh, in the last episode we got our first intake of prisoners. Uh, we've only got five cells however and eight prisoners. Something we will look to rectify soon at the minute. You know, they're just dusting around in the holding cell and whatnot. Uh, but as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've done some forward planning. Sketched out a whole load of cells. Let's just jump into plan so it shows up more. These are all going to be cells. A few little walkways around here. This little area here, I want to be our temporary um, yard for the prisoners. Uh, so uh, we can go ahead and try and achieve that this episode. We just look at these here as well. This is our grants. Uh, in order to get administration centre, we only need to hire an accountant now. So we can probably just do that now. It's nice and simple. Uh, accountant. And just drop her in the passageway. And that means we've achieved that. As soon as I play time again, we'll get it. Uh, and to do the basic detention centre, we still need to do the showers, a yard, kitchen and a canteen. But okay, let's play time. Just quickly jump into the grants, see if there's anything else we can be doing. We're doing basic detention set of health and well being. Build a medical ward and hire at least two doctors. Short-term investment. Pay money into an investment fund which will ultimately give a reasonable return on your initial sum. So how much do I put away? I don't know how much I put away. Oh, I can always come back with it. So we're going to need a staff room. So we might as well... Actually, you don't get it. And I want a cash advance bonus is what I want. Do it for a little bit more money. Advanced payment for health and well-being is ten grand. Uh, you know what? Just we'll, we'll do that. Okay. So we've got twenty-two thousand. Uh, I want to try and put uh, the foundations in for our cells that are going to be around here. So I'm going to a concrete foundation. I'm just going to run that all the way up there. All the way down there. And all the way back down here. Like that. So there's some money spent there. Okay. Now that this room's done, it's all whole. Go ahead and put some walls on here actually. We'll demolish walls first, we'll demolish them. And that's there. And then we will put in all of these. There. Back down there. Run back down there. So it gives us that say that they need electric. We should run our electric cable up the corridor. As well. Go ahead and put another capacitor on. So I don't forget about it. Because otherwise I will. Rooms, sketch these out as cells. That's what they are. There is actually a cloning tool which you can unlock through your bureaucracy. It might be worth us getting that because it's just got a bit tedious sketching the same thing over and over and over again. And there's a cell, there's not enough room to put one on there yet. So in our cells we need to do our beds. Um, let's turn the 
around. Nah. And then we have a ton of cells. Um, water pipes. And a lot of small pipes. cells in and we need some toilets for these cells so one two three four five uh, one thing i have learned as well is i'm gonna leave cell doors off right until everything's in like all the walls having up because i had trouble on this side and um, by the cell doors locked and the guards just were sitting with the thumbs up the back sides not doing anything so um, delivery area is chocker block, so we're going to have to sketch out more area for our deliveries. Just move that over there. Probably do it over there as well. Make garbage smaller. That can be a garbage area there. Move that. That's garbage and make that also for deliveries. There we go. So we've got a lot of deliveries. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we've got an absolute ton of deliveries, I mean. Okay, right. Going to go ahead and get a couple of more workmen as we could do with them. It's a thousand on workmen. Um, okay, how are we doing with our showers? We're still waiting for the stuff to be delivered. foundations in on this bit here and yeah, we just put a ball there and there and there like that and once all that's up, we can sketch that out as our yard, and that'll give that one a tick. Um, does the yard need anything? Just a minimum size of 5x5 five five secured behind at least one door. Yeah, which it will be. It will be, it will be. Okay. Let's have a look at old Norris here. Mark the Morris Morris. Convicted by a jury of, of his peers for his arrogant and zealous determination to release on the consoles leading to the criminal destruction of a small indie video games developer. Ooh. 
He's been sentenced to four years for multiple crimes, including possession and possession intent with intent to supply, I'm guessing that is. <laughs> Estimated reoffending chance seven percent. How are the deliveries doing? Oh, they're coming down. Three left to go. Kind of out. I don't know, we're not out of space. We've got that bit there. We're going to need a staff room. A medical centre eventually. Not sure where I want that to go yet, but we can go ahead with. A staff room. Now, what's the condition of the staff room? Uh, where is it? It's reception. Shall I sell? Staff room there, right. It needs to be indoors. A minimum size of 4x4 four four with a white sofa and drink machine. One thing I did read actually on the internet, and I might try and see if I can do it, I'm not sure how expensive it's going to be, is to put a fence around your prison. Because the prisoners will dig their way out. It's cost for that, it's not too bad, I'm going to do this. does mean that we are going to have to put a hole in this fence here. Um, might as well put one there as well. For now, what's he doing? Truck driver. What's he doing? Is everybody's truck? Alright, oh, mind. So, we're still short on cells. Uh, these guys are taking the time. We'll speed up some time now so we can uh, try and achieve some stuff. These are looking to be enclosed. Once they've got water, we can go ahead and put some doors on. is right down there now, 3,100. <laughs> Come on guys, chop chop. Why is he? He's in solitary. <laughs> oh, that's who they found the contraband on in the first in the last episode. <laughs> Just sitting him there. That's his. That's his punishment. Oh, he's sitting farting by the looks of it. Does he need? A, I think he might need a wash. That's what it is. The guy needs a wash, which is fair enough. Okay, where were we at? We might as well put some showers in then. All we need is a shower head and then we need to connect the shower head with the water pipes. So, 
jump into objects, is it? Yep, objects. Shall I head? Just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I might as well do them last two as well. Uh, and then we'll just connect all of them up. All up there, and then I'm going to run a large water pipe through there as well. Yeah, and I know we got the shower room there, and then hopefully everybody will go and shower. Oh, now comes the cookers. <laughs> did I put the electric in for these? Yeah, I did. I think. I'll just expand it just in case. Just go like that. So we've done the security now, so that is unlocked these here. Yeah, armory, patrols, contraband, deployment, what's a contraband? Requires a chief. Surveillance. Yeah, these are all quite expensive to research at the moment, that's a thing, so I'm gonna leave them. Probably go with maintenance for now though. No, I'm gonna leave it for now because I've only got nine hundred and one dollars, which is not enough, not much really. Is that three guards hanging out in the bloody canteen? Uh, right, speed up time again. Let's get done what we need to get done. Quick. Yeah, Look at utilities. This guy should be getting water soon. Look how much are jail doors? $200. So we need another three cells, so $600 for three jail doors. Okay, are these done? Yes. These are, there's a few of these that are done now, we just need to give them a jail door. One for you. One for you. Okay. Go on, go and have a look in solitary. Chisel trim. Nah, I am. Okay, how are we doing then? How's the kitchen? Failed on the sink. It's not supposed to be a sink there, that's why. Oh, right, the sink's on in just yet. Okay. No worries. One thing that has just occurred to me as well. I... I 
think the Coopers are quite ex, uh, quite taxing on the electric supply. So I'm hoping that when I connect them up, we don't lose all power. Speed time up and get these guys in. Wow, this is taking forever. I think that's about a long way to walk. One prisoner is due for release soon. All right. Okay, right. I think it's probably a good idea to go and end this episode here. We're, we're steadily taking over. We do have another intake of prisoners coming in in five hours. Now we've got eight prisoners with eight cells. So, you know, they'll come in. We will get cash for that. You get 3,600. Depending on which prisoners we go for, we're going for just minimum and medium security at the minute. Uh, I'm not ready for maximum. I don't think we're equipped to deal with it. And I don't want the riots just yet. So we'll get another eight prisoners in the next episode. And hopefully be able to give these guys the cells. We'll get these canteens and kitchens and showers sorted out. And start ticking off some of our to-do list. But yeah, okay. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.